One of the most amazing events in recent history occurred in Zaitun, Egypt, where the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to more than half a million people from 1968 to 1970 atop St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church. It began one night when a witness to the vision pointed at what he believed was a young woman about to commit suicide. Archdeacon Yusuf Kamel. He looked at the church first he saw a ball of light. That light developed to be a young lady on top of the dome in the middle of the church. After a while, all passing by stopped to see the girl that commit suicide from on top of the church. Suddenly, the Christian people cried, that is not a girl, that is the Virgin Mary. The girl on top of the church turned and faced them, and then floating over the middle dome, she came near the end, the, the front end of the church, and blessed them all. You had a tremendous circumstance because not just one or two or six or seven people were seeing the Virgin Mary, but hundreds of thousands, including former President Abdul Nasser, government officials, officials of the church, the Orthodox Church, as well as Catholics, Protestants, Pentecostalists. You had them gathering every night for several years. For the first time in human history, thousands of believers and non-believers all experienced the same inexplicable phenomenon. Dr. Kerry Malik was just one of the many witnesses. She stood there for a while and then she began to walk on the roof till she reached the cross and she knelt in front of the cross. She looked towards the area where I was and she smiled. That view was the most majestic and beautiful and heavenly view I have ever laid my eyes on. I, I don't believe I saw her or why she showed herself for me. Why Saint Mary show herself for someone like me? A sheet of light just out of nowhere appeared on the top of the church. And my sister-in-law says, look, she's standing there. She came down, she stood on the ground beside the church. And then she moved into the church, and then she vanished. Many hundreds and then thousands, then tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands of people congregated there and for themselves saw a phenomenon and strange smoke and what looked like nearly luminous birds or doves. And this went on for several years to the point where, by some estimates, a million people saw the Virgin Mary in Zaytun or some type of supernatural phenomenon. The question is, why Zaytun? Why Egypt in the mid-1960s when the Middle East was a powder keg? War was in the air, a massacre had been plotted. The homes of Christians were marked for blood. Peace it seems, would take a miracle. They marked every house of the Christians with a red cross, and then appeared the Virgin Mary. And instead of taking revenge of them, she cured them, healed them, gave them sight. The paralyzed began to walk. I heard a, a man uh, shouting, I see, I see. I was told the man was a blind Muslim and the Holy Mother gave him back his eyesight. I can see. His eyes were opened and saw the figure of the Virgin in front of him on top of the church. The man was hysterical. He cried out. The miracle happened, the miracle happened, the miracle happened. I can see, and begin stretching his hands, stop everyone around him. One girl named Teresa Galila had polio when she was about six months old. She could drag her legs with crutches, and she was healed at Saitun. And I had seen her walking. One of the most amazing miracles of healing occurred to a woman with breast cancer who came to Zaitun in search of a cure. One night as she lay sleeping in a room near the Church of St. Mary's, she had a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Father, I 
see the Virgin. She's standing by my bed. And now she's just by the window. And now she's gone. Before she go to sleep, deep sleep, she felt the Virgin coming in with a small boy. The young boy gave her a small knife or something like that. And the Virgin told her, I am going to remove the cancer from your breast. Uh, oh, it's painful. Oh, oh, I, I can feel it. Ah. Uh. The next morning, the priest found a bowl of tissue next to her bed, and she was covered by a cloth with the sign of the cross written in blood. The amazing thing is, there is no sign of any wound or any opening or anything. X-rays, uh, analysis, proof that is free from cancer completely. The unexplainable, miraculous events of Zaitun, Egypt, are best understood by analyzing the testimony of the living witnesses. A study conducted by physicist Dr. John Jackson. All the uh, witnesses to the Zaitun event virtually uh, agreed amongst themselves as to what they saw. And so I think it's possible to construct what I would call a standard apparition uh, of what was what had occurred. The apparition was self-luminous. Most of the people would say they could see some features. Virtually everybody said the apparition would move in a natural manner and it looked very realistic. Some people would say the apparition was bigger than life uh, in terms of its size. What's interesting about it is that you had so many people who come from so many different parts of the of the of the world really coming together to agree that this is what generally people saw and the more compelling evidence was found through analysis of the photos which dr jackson verified as authentic the question is are those real photographs what you look for in uh, a scientific evaluation of these photographs are internal consistencies or inconsistencies i spent a uh, of time studying those photographs and I can't see any inconsistencies so if that's true then that would argue that the apparition was able to generate physical light that was able to go to a camera uh, go through the optics record itself on the photographic emul emulsion of the film as a photochemical reaction and hence you have something physical associated with the, the apparitions on the anniversary of the apparition of Zeitung Pope Kirolos VI declared that this was indeed an authentic appearance of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whose silent message of love and hope had miraculously brought peace to the religious conflict within Egypt. Something very strange has happened here, perhaps something profound. You might be dealing with a phenomenon that lies out of heretofore classical science, and we have to be prepared for that.